Shadowed Battlegrounds presents The Battle of the Little Bighorn, Black Bear's Story. The sun hung low over the sprawling plains, casting long shadows on the village of the Sioux tribe. Black Bear, a young warrior, stood outside his family's teepee. The anticipation of battle thrumming through his veins. He had heard the elders speak of the growing threat from the east, where the white soldiers marched closer each day. Today, that threat had a name, General Custer. Black Bear's mother, White Feather, approached him, her face lined with worry. She handed him a small pouch of sacred herbs and a beaded necklace that had belonged to his father, a brave warrior lost in an earlier skirmish. Carry these with you, my son, she said. They will protect you. Black Bear nodded, fastening the necklace around his neck. He mounted his horse, painted wind, feeling the power of the animal beneath him. Around him other warriors were preparing, their faces painted with symbols of war and protection. Among them was his best friend, Swift Eagle, who gave him a reassuring nod. In the center of the village the chiefs had gathered. Sitting Bull, the wise and respected leader, spoke of his vision. White soldiers falling like grasshoppers into the river. Crazy Horse, fierce and unyielding, stood by his side his presence a beacon of strength for the gathered warriors. We fight for our land, our people, and our way of life, Sitting Bull declared. The spirits are with us. Black Bear felt a surge of pride and determination. The time had come to defend their home. As the sun rose on June 25, 1876, Black Bear and his fellow warriors rode out to meet the approaching enemy. The air was thick with tension the only sounds being the hoofbeats of their horses and the distant rumble of the soldiers' advance. The first clash was brutal. Black Bear's heart pounded as he faced the oncoming cavalry. He fought with the skill and ferocity taught to him by his father, his movements swift and precise. Painted wind responded to his every command, their bond unbreakable in the chaos of battle. The battle raged on with both sides suffering heavy losses. Black Bear found himself separated from Swift Eagle, fighting alongside warriors from other tribes who had joined the cause. He saw Crazy Horse leading a daring charge, his courage inspiring those around him. Amid the fighting, Black Bear encountered a young soldier, barely older than himself. For a moment, their eyes met and Black Bear saw fear and confusion in the boy's gaze. He hesitated, the humanity of his enemy starkly clear. But the battle demanded action, and he pushed forward, his focus returning to the survival of his people. As the day wore on, the tide of battle began to turn in favor of the Sioux and their allies. Black Bear and his fellow warriors fought with unwavering resolve, driving the soldiers back. The sounds of battle, a cacophony of gunfire, war cries, and the thundering of hooves filled the air. Black Bear caught sight of General Custer, his golden hair unmistakable even in the fray. The sight of the infamous leader fueled his determination. He urged Painted Wind forward, joining the final push that would seal their victory. The battlefield fell silent as the last of Custer's men were defeated. The Sioux had won, but the cost was high. Black Bear looked around at the fallen warriors, his heart heavy with grief for those lost. Swift Eagle approached, his arm wounded but his spirit unbroken. We did it, Black Bear, he said, his voice a mix of triumph and sorrow. Black Bear nodded the weight of the battle settling over him. They had defended their land, but he knew the struggle was far from over. The white soldiers would return, and the fight for their way of life would continue. As the sun set over the plains, Black Bear stood beside his mother, White Feather, who tended to the wounded. He felt a deep sense of responsibility, not just to his people, but to the future generations who would inherit this land. The battle had shown him the strength and resilience of his people, and he vowed to continue the fight 
for their freedom and their way of life. The spirits of the fallen warriors seem to whisper in the evening breeze, their presence a reminder of the sacrifices made. Black Bear looked to the horizon, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, his heart steadfast in the knowledge that the spirit of the Sioux would never be broken. If you like this story and want to see more, click on the icon top left. If you want to help, support our channel, please. Hit the subscribe button on the top left. If you have a good history idea, let us know in the comments. Thank you.